Good morning, folks. Switch you here with another inbox review. Today, we're going to review the Rebel Type 7 Charlie German submarine. Scale is a 1 to 44. And kit number is a 05038. Uh, I acquired this kit off Fleabay for $10. Originally, I wanted to build the uh, 1 in 72 version, but it came in at uh, 3 feet or some of like that, and uh, of course, I think I mentioned there on the Caton, uh, where uh, I'd asked Santa Claus to uh, bring me the kit in 1 in 72 and uh, bring it in from the UK. Uh, this is when I was just getting into uh, going back in the model building and so on and so forth and although their advertised price uh, was so much by the time you included shipping and all that uh, it was uh, way over Santa Claus budget and uh, we settled on the Bismarck. <clears throat> uh, the other thing uh, at the time was um, uh, in order to keep the dust off these models I wanted to put them in uh, cases and display cases when we uh, start going up into the larger configurations are simply out of this world. Okay, we're talking two, three, four hundred dollars, and I say, "Whoops, uh, we're not going there." Uh, I was fortunate enough to run across a site where Buddy's building his own, uh, having a full-fledged machine shop and woodworking shop in my garage. Um, that is what I'm going to do down the road. It's no big deal making a case. So this becomes a moot point. Uh, further on, uh, I have come to find out that uh, <clears throat> uh, with my aging body, uh, we can't do certain things that uh, some younger people can do. And uh, so smaller kits are a challenge. Uh, people that do 1 to 700 and so on and so forth, uh, kudos, kudos. Uh, yes, by all means, you can build lots of them. Uh, they're relatively cheap, and you could put lots in a small space. la di da di da Unfortunately, I just don't have the dexterity anymore to, to do that. So i got to look at uh, bigger kits if I want to enjoy uh, our pastime. So enough uh, speaking about that. Uh, let's uh, open up the box and uh, see what's in there. Typical Revel, uh, one bag, <clears throat> okay, the instructions uh, were taken out, I was uh, looking at those, so uh, let's go see, I'm going to zoom you in here, okay, there we go, uh, what I like about uh, the Revel kits anyways, is that uh, on their instructions and all that good stuff, they got uh, the story of uh, uh, the kit you're building and so on and so forth. The typical do not eat this and be careful with using knives, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the paint call out, of course, this is all uh, the Revel paints, which is not an issue. Um, the, the sub that I have under construction right now is a George Washington. At, uh, I acquired a bunch of uh, paints uh, from Revel and Aquacolor and all that. They're beautiful paints to use. Uh, I know Emilcar uses them. And uh, for good reason, they uh, they are they are wonderful. So they got their callouts. Uh, we have our sprue maps here. Uh, not too happy with uh, the sprue maps. They're very very small. They don't tell you a lot. Uh, going into the construction, relatively simple. Okay, and it has 35, 35 steps. Uh, into building uh, this puppy. Uh, there's a lot to be done here. Um, the I've seen a build of uh, this particular model that uh, I've got in my uh, in my playlist. Okay, um, it all depends which way we want to go. We'll go through that uh, momentarily. Uh, building the hull is uh, pretty much straightforward and all that. Uh, when we start getting into uh, the the masts and the gun and uh, the conning tower and it's uh, all those pieces. Uh, there's a lot of 
reflection. So I got to really, really study this and uh, looking where I want to go. Uh, as mentioned in the book review on the Flower Class Corvettes, I will be acquiring the book on uh, the Victor uh, Charlie uh, 7, although I do have um, quite uh, the information uh, from AMP uh, that I've uh, printed off and so on and so forth, but uh, I like books. Okay, and the thing that I do not like about Revel, okay, or any other company for that matter, okay, uh, is black and white, okay, um, and especially when it comes down to printing in the grayscales and so on and so forth, you don't really see what you're doing, okay, as far as colors. Uh, this is uh, 2014, folks, the manufacturers out there, I mean, some of them, uh, if they have chosen to put a... Uh, <clears throat> color graphics, okay, uh, on glossy paper of uh, what the color scheme should be. I can't see why uh, other uh, manufacturers uh, can't do that. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's go see what's in the bag. It doesn't have much. Submarines do not have a lot of parts because there's not much on the external hull. Um... Like I says, this was a uh, a used kit that I acquired. Okay, for ten bucks. Um, so quite pleased with that. I mean, the price was right. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. Uh, since I did want uh, the Type Seven U boat, uh, we've got our hull pieces. Now there's a lot of work to be done on this. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Now, all those uh, vent holes and floods and so on and so forth, uh, they are deep, and uh, a lot of folks uh, do do them, do do. Uh, buddy that I saw, I was going in with a Dremel from the back and piercing the hole. I'm not about to do that, okay? Uh, if I do decide to... Uh, bore out the vents, although they are deep enough that, uh, sorry about the camera angle there, folks, that uh, they will show up. Uh, I'm debating on whether uh, making them through or whatever, and I'll explain uh, what needs to be done, and there's a lot of them, even right down to the bottom, okay, we've got them there. Uh, when it comes down to the stern, uh, there's a lot there. Uh, no flash on the hull. Now, I don't know how it's going to assemble, but uh, so far, so good. Uh, <clears throat> he did a Dremel. I would be drilling these out and cutting. Uh, this is thin enough. Uh, we're probably looking at, uh, where's my verniers here that I keep handy on my desk? <clears throat> and we'll change them... Uh, Two millimeters. Okay, uh, the hull thickness is those areas. Let's get in there. That's in thousands of an inch. Uh, One point three five millimeters. Okay, and if we look at the depth, uh, we probably got uh, I don't know half a millimeter there. So we only got about a millimeter to go through uh, in order to. Uh, <clears throat> pierce that, so I'll be drilling and cutting them out if I do decide to go with that route. Now, <clears throat> the other thing that has to be kept in mind is that when we do, to, if I do decide to go that route and uh, have my vents open, now let me put this hole together here, okay, uh, what happens is all on the top side here, Okay, all these vents, the back end, the back end, are open. Okay, and you can see through your model. Okay, uh, which is not bad. However, uh, you're also able to see down inside. Now, uh, that is a good or a bad thing. However, I did acquire. Okay, some styrene, 
And if we look at the the instructions here, come on, for uh, this is not hard. This is not easy to do. Do all this stuff on camera. <laughs> well, looking at the book, I got to look over at uh, my laptop. When we look over here, you see there's two bulkhead. They're not watertight bulkheads or whatever. They're just uh, to maintain the shape of the hull. But what would you have to do is that once these pieces are installed, is to build uh, a fake pressure hull. Now, I did acquire some black styrene. Um, only because uh, it was available in black, and uh, I knew that uh, because I built submarines and so on and so forth, that black would be handy compared to white. I got various sicknesses, and uh, that's why I've done that. Uh, getting back to the hull, we do have uh, some work to do here uh, on the front. Uh, what I did not notice, okay, and I'm just noticing it now, is that that broke off okay so we're going to have a little bit of putty work to do there not too bad because there is nothing in the way uh as far as uh rivets or whatever uh so that'll be a, an easy fix and hey 10 bucks all right uh beautiful panel lines okay various holes uh you've get the odd um uh, these sink marks whatever you want to call them uh, they do have the demarcations, okay, for where the decals go, which is absolutely fantastic. And you're not going to pick that up on the camera, I don't think. Okay, but your decals would go there. I know your decals, but your your uh, your draft marks, okay, uh, both on the side. And I don't see any forward, and I don't see any aft. Uh, nonetheless, the, the detailing is nice. And I've seen this kit built, and uh, it goes to better uh, rather easily. So uh, let's open up the bag with uh, the rest of these parts. Uh, there are photo kits, uh, photo etch kits available for this. Uh, considering the size of some of these parts, uh, I don't see myself getting into photo etch uh, right off the bat uh, with regards to it. Uh, let's move some of this aside. Um, we've got the conning tower, <laughs> nice crisp detail, uh, I can find my pointer here, uh, we'll just use something else, I guess, we'll use a stick, my desk is a mess right now, oh, there it is, <clears throat> okay, we've got our cable cutters, okay, for both the bow and, uh, the top, uh, something that goes around the conning tower, not quite sure, but look at some of these, these, these pieces. Now these are going to be, and this is why I do not like building uh, small kits. <clears throat> uh, that piece there is going to be extremely hard to get off the sprue because of the thickness of the plastic that's around here. And this is, well, there's my needle. Okay. I'm not even going to pick up on that. Very, very tiny. And when I seen this, I says, Ooh, that's why this kit was shelved. Okay, and it will be shelved until I uh, build up my skills uh, in order to build it. Uh, more pieces of the conning tower. Uh, the interior, this is wood. Okay. Uh, so a lot of this stuff has to be painted prior to and so on and so forth. Uh, this prevented the... the the submariners get stuck to the hull, okay, during winter conditions. Um, the mast, or one part of the mast is an antenna of some sort. Uh, very, very, very fine. Uh, this is probably about a quarter of a mil, okay. Uh, that, and I'm not sure if it's this one or something else, but I've I seen in a build, and some of this takes photo etch. So that's going to be uh, quite the job uh, to do. So we're not at that level yet. Uh, what I might do, though, is build a hull and so on and so forth. Uh, nice detailing, okay, on the the midsection of the hull. Uh, now, this is a 2006 kit, which is interesting, okay? So it's a fairly new kit, but one would have figured that they would put those stupid uh, color schemes in... Uh, 
in, you know, uh, in color versus the black and white. Uh, the wash will uh, uh, come out uh, pretty good, okay, on these uh, kits. I got to remember to stay on my cross. <laughs> we got a habit of going towards the camera, okay. Uh, so on this one here, we've got the... The stern, I believe, uh, deck section, and then uh, the forward one, and yep. And although Buddy made it seem quite easy, I'd like to know what I'm missing here. If anything, part 51. Uh, that could be a problem if I don't know what it is. Anyways, uh, we're looking at stanchions here. Once again, very, 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 very fine. Very, very fine. Uh, the railing, okay, for uh, the gun deck on the uh, on the conning tower, uh, which is here's your gun deck. Okay, uh, this little piece. Oh Jesus. It's it's like hairs, okay. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, raise my skill level tremendously before I start playing with those small parts, okay. In order to do this justice, uh, and if I don't succeed, well, the hell with it. I'm going with the one in seventy-two. <laughs> so uh, the deck gun. If I'm not mistaken, or that could be a periscope. I don't freaking know. Uh, no, these are your periscopes here. Okay. Uh, the nameplate and so on and so forth. Our rudders, our afterplanes. A lot of very, very small uh, details. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm not looking, I am, and I'm not looking forward to building this in this, uh, this small scale. Um, but, uh, when we get into it, uh, there's very little flash, um, on the pieces. For the scale size, the detail is acceptable. All the injector pin marks are on, uh, the back side of pieces and where pieces are molded, uh, example as uh, the after dive planes here or forward dive planes. Okay. Um, the injector pin marks are right on the, uh, the sprue itself. Okay. Uh, lots of flash around the screws. Lots of flash. Uh, I might be getting some aftermarket screws for, for that anyways. I like, uh, you know, uh, tank modelers uh, like aftermarket tracks. They like uh, metal barrels and so on and so forth. Uh, from a shipbuilder's perspective, why not get some brass screws for uh, our kits? So... Uh, that is all I have uh, on, uh, oops, sorry, we forgot the, um, uh, uh, the decals, uh, they seem, uh, nice, uh, they're silver color versus white. Which was which is interesting. Although when you put them in the light, they reflect. Uh, one of the thing uh, that I did like about this particular kit, it does have the U ninety six, which is Das Boot. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not the uh, the most successful submarine out there, uh, but everybody remembers Das Boot, so uh, that's the one I'll be portraying. If anything, uh, it's got his. Uh, his logos, uh, we have to look at that. But um, yeah, for 10 bucks, 
if it doesn't turn out, it's uh, not even a case of beer, folks. So uh, on that note, thanks for watching. You take care. Switcher, signing off.